Hey, Dick. How you been, buddy? I've been better. Yeah. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a time. I don't know how much of me has showed up today. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm exhausted. You're exhausted? Yeah. You, I'm fucking exhausted, too. Yeah. Yeah, I, try, I tried to do a Sudoku. <laughs> that was the time. I got through saying Sudoku and then I was exhausted and I had to go to bed. I was talking to a doctor. Yeah. Let's call him a doctor because I don't want to call him what he really is. Right. Because you sound fine. And I said, yeah, but it's the thinking that goes in. You don't understand. Usually I'm tripping over thoughts to get to my words. Yeah. Now I'm. I'm looking to the word well, and it's run fucking dry. We That's knocked, how I describe this. We down a couple IQ points. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do it, right? Let's do Let's it, do baby. It. Biggest. <laughs> gets me every time. In the universe. Hello, welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show that ranks every problem in the universe from uh, from long loading times to Columbus crimes. I'm your host, Sick Mash, and I fucked that up. Joining me as always is the, the famous, the, mar- the the legendary, I wouldn't even call you a viral star anymore. That's officially news. I know. Vito Giswaldi. Hi, Dick. How are you? I'm I've been excited. better. I'm excited to be here. You have been better. You're going to have to do a lot of the pulling today. I know. You're already stumbling over the rhyme to get us in here. <laughs> oh, my God. Loading times. Guys, rhyme. this might be one of the last shows before the dementia <laughs> overtakes the good Dick Masterson. Oh, uh, Lordy. Like I, I'm going to save all my jokes to, my, yeah. to do my problem. Uh, if you're new to the show, because you saw us being accosted mm. on uh, international media. International! That's the exciting part. It really is. It really is. <laughs> it's bigger than Twitter. It, 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 be, it got to places that are, in fact, real, Dave right. Chappelle. <laughs> it's got to, like, all around the world. It's crazy. Last episode, we had... Uh, here's, the, here's the results. Problem from last episode. Installing console games, number yes. one. Yes! A rare veto win. Look at this, you're two for two. I'm two for two. I'm killing This it. is the more important thing, the uh, winning the biggest problem race. <laughs> you're going to trip, you're going to land in some pussy on the way home. Yeah. It was a the close race trick. from what I saw, though. You were very cl- close behind. Yeah, yeah. Columbus hate, number two. Um, waiters who don't write down your order. I can't believe that's third. That's Should- a, that, that is a good one. That is a good one. And then master, master erasure. It's a complex topic, I think. Yeah. Master erasure. Yeah, I try to get upset about it. I'm like, I don't want to call these master slave hard drives. <laughs> like, well, what do you have to call them? Well, primary slave, and that's yeah. more descriptive and probably <laughs> helpful. But goddamn it, <laughs> I don't want to be able. I don't want to have to call it the M word. I don't like. I don't want to have to say the M word anymore. They're gonna someday menstruation. The word will be have to be the M slur. Yeah. What are you? Are you having an M slur over there? I mean, saying woman's gonna be a slur. You have to say what. Uh, Bodies with vaginas, I believe they decided on. Yeah. We're losing a lot of language. I think just losing language is the real problem here. Oh, tell me about it. I've lost about yeah. half the words I know this week. <laughs> Taking a header into a fucking concrete. And all I was thinking, as my head ricocheted off the stone ball in front of the Netflix HQ, yeah. all I was thinking was Fight Club's corporate art. Like, I'm like, fucking corporate art? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you know, and they make that big ball roll. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's should some... We give, should we give a quick just rundown for... So- if somebody missed it or they're listening to an old episode and they... No, we have to go... Know. We have to do comments first. Yeah, That's how the this show works. First. Well, yeah, however you have it By the way... Yeah. Weekly show. Weekly. This is a weekly show. Thanks to you all. This is the first time we're announcing that, I think. And we celebrated, I don't know if you remember, but when we cleared the $2,000 a month on Patreon.com slash Biggest Problem to guarantee a weekly show, mm-hmm. we celebrated by not doing a by show. By not that. doing a weekly show that week. Because you had to do... I had to go to a wedding! You had to go to a wedding that lasted the entire week, so there was no way to do a show beforehand, <laughs> right? Look, man, I had to get stuff like set up before I left. I had to... <laughs> what, no, are you, no, what are you, I, organizing the wedding? I, a bunch of work I had to like get off my plate, you know, on Thursday, and then Friday I, you know, I had stuff going. You couldn't do it on Thursday. No, you couldn't thir- take an a- you couldn't take a shower instead of a bath one day no, and clear off an hour. Man. I can't do it. 
Thursday, I had to do a bunch of work, and then Friday, I left for Vegas. Okay. You're getting a weekly show now. What do you care? Come on. We skipped one week. Something about weddings in this show. Yeah, weddings are important. Uh, So thank you all for your support. Weekly show. I can't believe this show is such a huge success. It is really popular. Everybody likes it. It is. People start podcasting like, well, it's easy. You just make a couple grand. Dick Dick does did it twice. Dick did it in uh, a couple months. And then they do it, and they got three donations, three Patreons, from their, and they're all their mom. (laughs) Different accounts. Yeah. I'm excited, Dick. It's a new era of comedy podcasting it's for a, both of us. It's a violent one. It's a violent era of comedy. <laughs> okay, Joe, Joe, Joe says, I love your prep work. Thanks, buddy. Carl Tohoton Honan says, how about get a life so you don't have to install games? Adults can actually do things instead of playing and pretending to do things. I, I sometimes have little moments to my... Self, where I can enjoy a hobby, but uh, sure, I'll just abandon it and just Why don't work you get my, out and do well, things. I just work myself into a grave. Sure, <laughs> I'm speaking to a man who single handedly stopped a global right censorship movement. You can't tell me week. I don't get out there and do anything after today. <laughs> All right, I got off my ass. Hail Keezer says, Rare Vito win in this episode. The last two CO- Call of Duty games have made my PS4 hard drive unusable for anything other than Call of Duty and lead me to the point that I got mad and decided I'm going to emulate NES and Game Boy games for at least the next year. Can you imagine like Kermit typing this out? No. Or at least avoid all the damage. Eric M says, Vito's problem is spot on. Oh my God, the video game people love you. Yeah. They're an easy group to... Yeah. Don't fall in love with you. Uh, Macho Weatherman POV says, Dear Dick, you brought up the problem of Macho Weatherman, but you never stop to walk a mile in our shoes. Let me tell you what it's like to be me in the winter times. As I walk into the office in the morning in shorts and a t-shirt, I'm accosted by sh- a shrill voice saying, Aren't you cold? <laughs> Minutes later, some other broad exclaims, How are you not cold? They sound, I'm impersonating the same, but they're different ladies. Yeah. Perhaps even random strangers on the street, women, would also proclaim in astonishment, I'm cold just looking at you. <laughs> Bitch, if you're cold looking at me, then you should put on a fifth fucking layer and leave me alone. You're the third one to bother me today about this. Anyway, Dick, I hope I gave you a new perspective on the issue. Know that we suffer annoying people bothering us about the weather just as much, if not more. Go fuck yourself. What do you Beautiful. think about that? Yeah. yeah, he makes a good point. Yeah, I mean, the weather people are, they are a type of people. It's the weather, man. It's the weather. What can you do? All right. Uh, you won. I did win. So would you like to start us off anywhere you would like <laughs> well, for your problem? Would you like a drum roll for your problem? Sure, give me one. Which I think you deserve. My problem, Dick, is fake news. Fake, fake news. It's unbelievable that you and I, you've been working with me for th- 13 episodes. Yes. Or only kind of 10. Yeah, and now you've gone from a staunch vocal liberal to being in a stone toss comic. <laughs> yes, appearing on Alex jo- on Infowars. Info yes, Which I'm really you, go- I'm you going down the alt right rabbit hole. It sounds like, and now using fake news. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna be wearing a MAGA hat next week, aren't I? How was Infowars, by the way? Did uh, Alex Jones ask you why you flagged? Alex didn't come in, sadly. <laughs> I should have I should have thought of some stuff to talk about. I, I was a great guest on Infowars. I was very nice. I bet. Hey, this guy, whoever I went on with, I should remember his name. He seemed like a very level-headed dude. He was a very nice dude. We yeah. Didn't, we didn't talk about, you know, poison in the well. What was his whatever. name? The Goy Master yeah, or something? No, like no, <laughs> no. Seems like they have some good young bucks working over there who I'm sure will eventually turn into rabid psychopaths like their leader. You're probably the only g- guest on in InfoWars history that's flagged Alex Jones. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what it really comes down to, Dick, is I have no principles. Cause no, but you do. I do. You do because I've, pe- I've seen people busting your balls about this, but you do. You think TOSs should exist and that you have the right to report th- things to them. Well, I had a very good discussion with a guy, Tommy C. He's a YouTuber. Tommy yeah. shot from the point. And uh, I kind of came to a new, like you know, stance on some of this stuff in that I just wish there were more platforms. Like I wish there yep. wasn't just YouTube. Yeah. Cause then I could say, well, YouTube's just not the place for you. You should go to this platform, that platform. Sure. Yeah. But if YouTube is out there, you know, kind of running a monopoly and making sure, I mean, working with tech to like make sure De-platform. alternate platforms don't show yeah. up as long as they're doing that. I do have to go. 
I can't. Well, okay, flag. you got a good point. Yeah. I, I'm not going to flag. Yeah. No, but I mean, what you're yeah. saying means, well, I, I can't participate in this system. Right. It's not the kind of system so I think it is. So even though my ideal is I like YouTube not having, you know, like hates, you know, some guys have said I want like hate speech on there. I want every sort of thing on there. You know, people telling them their kids to drink bleach to get yeah. rid of their autism. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm okay with this platform not having that. But if there's, if this platform makes sure that, you know, free speech can't exist anywhere else on the internet, yeah. I have to go, well, no, if you want to be the only one, then you do have to kind of accept everything. It is a very complex topic. It is. And, uh, and people uh, get very emotional about it. I saw people noticed. saying, oh, he has no principles. Like, no, he has, he has principles. He has principles. And I can change my mind. And honestly, I do have to give credit to Tommy for kind of like putting that in perspective for me. So yeah. Thank you, Tommy. There's, uh, there's two things. It's not, veto is not the reason speech is getting canceled. It's because Section 230 exists and because it's YouTube. Yeah. And I brought it. that up, Section 230, and uh, I actually told Tommy, you should talk to him. He's a great uh, uh, Yeah, I was going to go on his show next week, yeah. uh, if I remember. If talk my about brain all the Section comes 230 back stuff. Me. I didn't want to talk about it because I don't know the ins and outs as much as you would. I know it like I used to know the back of my hand. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you <laughs> dealt with it firsthand. The government is uh, stopping speech. But secondly, I was going to say, you have done more, more for speech in the last 48 hours than anybody criticizing you. And, oh, no, no, here's the other thing I was going to say about it. If people don't like your apology, these are the same people who say never apologize. Right. Like, they're always going, never apologize. Don't don't bend the knee. But then when they're faced with an actual apology from you, they go, oh, no, fuck you. Like, dude, you are embodying what you say the left always does by not accepting his his very genuine apology. You have become what you constantly rip on. Well, that's what I tried to explain on the last show is that you're like, you got to, you know, apologize. You know, you should do a better apology. And I was like, I don't know how it matters because these people, I've never seen anyone accept an apology in the modern age. Like, I don't know how you do an it apology. It does matter. Well, that's the thing. I think it, it does, does matter. matter. And I've always argued. I'm like, we need to get back to accepting apologies. Like, you can't have a society where you just go, I can't apologize. I can't apologize. I can't apologize. Yeah. You know, nobody will ever accept it. Yeah. Uh, and I did write out an apology to these guys. Should I read it here today? Maybe at the end. I, wanna, yeah, I want I'll your problem. I want to know it. your problem. But I do apologize. And these guys are, I mean, these guys are telling me that I don't care about free speech. And I do deeply care about free speech. Yeah. And we have some disagreements about where the lines are. But clearly I went out there. I mean, I didn't go out there. Everybody's saying, oh, he's just a grifter. He just wants popular, whatever. I'm like, no, I went out there because I really am worried about cancel culture and comedy getting stepped on and whatever else. So we went out to the protest. Yes. Uh, Vito. The Netflix walkout for trans rights against Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Right. I wanted to go in a wig and a dress. Right. But we decided, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> Well, we talked about it. You're like, I mean, do we really bust their balls? It's like, you know, we could have had a sign that said you need balls to do comedy uh, yeah. or uh, don't neuter comedy. And it's like, but this isn't about the trans thing at all. It's just about I like jokes. It's yeah. It's just about we like jokes and we support jokes and we support comedy. Yeah, it's not it's not an anti trans thing at all. It's just if any group that would come out against comedy, I mean, I don't care if it's. You know, white guys, black guys, white women, whatever. I would have been like, no, yeah. you can't take, you can't do this. It's white, absurd. black men, women, bring them out. Yeah, whatever you got. It's it's not a it was not an anti trans thing though, as the media wants to uh, depict it. How many media interviews have you done in the last forty eight hours? <sighs> I want to say, well, I mean, it's a lot of podcasts and stuff. Yeah. I don't know who's a journalist. At least. You know, uh, five or six real news organizations. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, InfoWars is a big real news organization. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, One American News, I was also on, uh, if you know them. You know what? You posted that picture. I'm going on InfoWars. I thought, ah. <sighs> <laughs> that's the prestige. That's the prestige. That's the, top. that's the cream of the crop. Ah, uh, yeah. The that's promise. When made it. The promise. I'm gonna flag everything. Alex Jones. Uh, the turn. I'm a defender of free speech. The prestige. <laughs> hey, why don't you come on, Alex? Why don't you come yeah, on? Why don't you come in? <sighs> it's a perfect. Uh, it's the veto redemption arc, as we're calling it. Okay, what did they do to do? What did what did the news do? Well, so I'm there. A lot of people have seen the famous video where uh, I'm there. I'm holding my sign. It says, we like Dave on one side. It says, jokes are funny on the other side, which is a ridiculous, nonsensical state. Of course, jokes are funny. That's the that's the point of jokes. And uh, this sign made people very upset. Very upset. Uh, when one man, a, a Netflix writer whose name I keep forgetting, who I need. Joe Sissy or something? Joe Sissy. Joe Sissy. I don't know. I got to file charges against him. Yeah. I got to go down to the Hollywood PD because uh, he committed a bit of assault. 
grabbed yep. my sign, starts breaking it in half. And perhaps the worst part of it is uh, I'm there. I, you know, he's broken my sign. I'm just holding a piece of wood at this point. And he goes, he's got a weapon. Immediately. Immediately. Like he planned it out. Did he have this? The strategy? Like, yeah. That's called incitement, by the way. That's oh, not I, protected speech. No, of course not. There's a violent mob and you're saying, lying, he's got a weapon, implying that they need to attack you right. immediately. I mean, let's put this in context. I've been to protests. I've been to, you know, with Antifa kids around. You hear he's got a weapon. That's a, that's a signal to the Antifa kids to immediately turn your way and beat the crap out of that dude. Well, in my case, it was the signal to come barging in on my back and yeah. throw me head first into a concrete yeah. sculpture in and front we of have Netflix video, You HQ. got video of that. I mean, we're going to see what we do. I don't know if you can show that video yet or what. No, I got to talk to the guy. Yeah, you got to talk to the, you know, whoever you're talking with. But they, they, that's the thing. Uh, we were violently assaulted on multiple fronts. Yeah. And uh, why don't we go to the Associated Press, if you have that ready to pull it up. I certainly do. Is uh, it uh, this one? Yeah. Okay. Now, so uh, let me put this in context. So they had this picture of me. Uh, what's great about pictures is you can apply any any emotion to them. Is this man angry? Is this man happy? And the only way to put it is in... Is this man hungry? Is this man hungry? Well, of course I was hungry. <laughs> I'm always hungry, Dick. Uh, but, you know, you rely on the news to put the picture into context, Dick. Yeah. Does that not make sense? Yeah. So the original, the original caption, and this is the Associated Press. For those of you who don't know the Associated Pr Press, you know, if you're a news organization, you can't, you know, attend the actual protest. They will send you the pictures and the caption so you can just run it on your own article. Yeah. So this caption was not just on one uh, site. It's literally was on dozens of sites because it's the Associated Press. So you said a media organization will subscribe to them and then they'll just run whatever the Associated yeah. Press pumps out. Yeah. Across so hundreds. They have something to put in the newspaper or whatever else. Yep. And the original caption was, uh, let me see if it's up there. Uh, Vito Giswaldi shouts profanities at peaceful protesters as they beg him to leave or plead for him to leave. Shouts profanities. profanities. Like a drunk. Right. I've shouted profanities in my life before. I know what it sounds like to <laughs> shout a profanity. I, I'm not going to say I've never done it. But if you watch the video, Dick, what were my profanities? They were. They were jokes are funny. That's I profane speech. Jokes are funny. I don't understand why all the violence. I had a peaceful message. I said, I don't know why all the violence. I don't know yeah. why all the hate. I'm just here to say I love jokes and I love Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Go Dave Chappelle. Woo! Is woo a, is woo a friggin' yeah, woo is a, a right that's wing an uh, dog whistle. <laughs> it's a it's dog whistle, of course. Woo. The W yeah. stands for white and the O's <laughs> are the number of uh, minorities we want to step on, I yeah. guess. Yeah, each O is uh, someone we want to cross out. Uh, so the Associated Press, I mean, a lot of, a lot of real journalists, verified journalists, I have to say, I was very happy, came out of the woodwork to defend me and say, crazy, right? It is crazy. Because, and I'll say this, because it was so blatantly, obviously fabricated. Yeah. Because not only did we not swear the entire, I mean, we didn't swear the entire no, time. we didn't. I didn't swear the entire time because I wanted papers to run what I was saying because it sounded well put. I could speak then, which yeah. was before I got brained in the skull. Right. I wanted papers to run it as a juxtaposition to the wild insanity that was being screamed through megaphones. Right. So people would go and go like, oh, well, this guy is constructed a sentence and these people are just screeching. We had some great quotes for the press. We were very level headed. We aren't out there being hate mongers or we're anything. having a good time too. Yeah. We're being very respectful in our whatever. I mean, obviously we're being a little obnoxious by chanting. We like jokes and being the counter protest, but that's our right under free speech, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, if you want to talk whatever about whatever you want to call that, what it is. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you want to talk about shouting obscenities. You have a lady with a tambourine shaking it in my face going, repent motherfucker repent motherfucker over and over and shaking this horrible noisemaker my ears are still ringing dick i need to talk to the doctor. why do they embrace christian i don't know iconography they're a cult they're a cult yeah repent motherfucker they're like a cult wait a minute 
some uh, some Who's ju- your god? Some journalist, uh, you know, and he's a homosexual journalist. Uh, he's like, listen, man, I marched for gay pride and whatever else. We've turned into a religious cult. Repent? Yeah. Motherfucker? Like, <laughs> when did we become the Catholics that we were fighting against right in at the that 80s moment. and 90s? Yeah. Right at that moment. He's like, we were fighting against this rhetoric. Why are we now employing it? Anyway, so the caption was updated. Uh, corrects the caption. The Associated Press were getting uh, so, railed So on. Jesse Signal, is he the one that broke this down and said how how it was dem- demonstrably fa- yes. provably false? Because he, there was video and he framed like all the video like a fucking he had Matrix bullet time. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah. listen, man, this is the exact moment that he's speaking in the video. I mean, I <laughs> talked to him. He's like, I'm looking at the video. I mean, did you yell obscenities? I've gone through all- I'm like, no, Not dude. Not once. Not once. Why would I? There's yeah. no point. So uh, finally, the Associated Press, all these journalists are going at them like thousands of quote treats correct the caption i think this is almost worse <laughs> i think this yeah, is read ridiculous it. uh so I'll, t- I'll tell you why i think it's worse too okay go ahead corrects the caption to remove reference to giswaldi using profanities which he did not do at the moment <laughs> the image was made <laughs> a bit of an implication there also removes reference to protesters being peaceful because one protester destroyed his sign. Bro. <laughs> Do you, you get how ridiculous <laughs> it was, it's so unnecessary to just say we were, he wasn't yes. saying profanity at the, at time. the time. Like just say, cause he wasn't saying profanity. Yeah. Did, look, we're retracting it. Cause this didn't happen. It didn't fucking happen right. the way we're describing it. That's so we're retracting it. The implication is two seconds after that picture was taken, I went, fuck, 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 <laughs> Epsler, <laughs> Epsler. Like, bro, no. And I mean, it, you did. You were screaming about how you miss sucking your trans. That's true. Okay, that's true. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, they accosted me and they're like, what do you call it? You hate trans people. And I'm like, bro, I knew the most attracted trans woman in the world and I loved sucking her big old dick and it was great. Every night. And it was Every like, night. <laughs> it was, I was over the top with that. It was like someone had just said the N word. Like it was like a hush went through. And I said, he's telling the truth. It's like, just in yeah. case anybody's wondering. No, I love, man. That chick was so hot in the day. I was like, why did I screw that up, man? I should have kept calling her. She went, I got a new boyfriend and I did. She disappeared from the internet. This was the hottest trans chick I've ever met in my life. I still have a couple pictures of her on my computer. And oh, I you just, didn't meet any hot trans girls at this pro yeah, t- this test? One they don't compare to? I didn't see any I wanted to take <laughs> home with me. Let's just say that. They wouldn't fit in your car, no, some of them. Some of them were light. My size, let's say. <laughs> some of them would have been like Dino and the Flintstones in your car busting through the roof, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe coming I mean, home licking your But I wasn't yelling, though. That's the other thing. I'm not yelling obscenities at anyone in general. I mean, even if I'm yelling... Is dick and I'm saying, you know, I'm saying it's, I love sucking her dick. That, I would not consider that profane. No, it's lewd. It's lewd. It's lewd. Lewd. Yeah, and I was but not, it's not profanity. It. I was just shouting it in general to anyone with an earshot. I wasn't shouting it, you know. Uh, <sighs> and what else do I want to say? Is that these were peaceful protests? They're not peaceful protesters because one man broke his sign. Bro, in addition to the one man breaking my sign, you can see multiple people are pushing me back. Tearing at it. Tearing at the sign. Yeah, multiple people are helping destroy that sign. Uh, you know, Shoving constantly. Yeah, they kept shoving me back. I mean, later people were putting totally hands Totally inappropriate. And Many of them Netflix employees. Yeah, which is insane. We know, which we know for a fact. Yeah, we have uh, gotten the identities of some of these people, and we'll see what happens there. Uh, and, I mean, we want to talk about peaceful protesters, Dick. Yeah, I got What happened uh, to you? Well, is that your problem? Well, you we'll want to move up, on to my I problem? Just wanna, I just want to, uh, in light of the peaceful protesters. I'll, I mean, I'll get to that. You'll get to that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you have a comment on the caption that yes, I Yes, the reason I think it's worse is because they frame it a correction necessarily implies that this is the factual truth. Yeah, that they dug deeper into it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? Like, let's, it's not like, uh, oh man, your wife is a fat pig. Like, excuse me, let me correct myself. She's a fat pig who stinks. Yeah. Like, it's like, <laughs> it's like uh, this is a more correct yeah, version. It's like, that's really not more correct. Down. We never mess up, but when we do, we go out of the way to correct ourselves. And this is the correct reporting yeah. that he wasn't saying profanity at the time this picture was taken. Oh, really? Like, while the frame was being fucking exposed? What do right. you mean? At the time of this fucking picture? When? Never then. And let's be clear, even if I'm using sailor's language later on, I'm not... It, when you say shouting obscenities at protesters, I mean, the implication is that I'm telling them, fuck Violently, you, you suck, yeah. fuck you. I wasn't mad at them. I was loudly pronouncing my love for, for trans jokes. cock. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a message of love. 
Is it not? I suck hogs. Thank you. Yes. I truly do. I have, and uh, I've enjoyed it. Uh, and I love it. Uh, you know, my favorite comment about this whole thing was? Yeah. On the Reddit, somebody said, you know what? Dick saw something in Vito that none of us did, and he stuck with his gut, and that's why he makes the big money. And I said, fucking thank you. Yes. I think it was for rinse. I think, uh, <laughs> I mean, I was so happy. I'm so happy I brought you along, because I, I called you up, and I'm like, Dick, we gotta go. We gotta do this thing. I feel like I give people a sense of, like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go get a little, I'm not gonna do a little extra while I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Not so intimidated, right? It was good. Uh, one more. I do want to go to the one other piece of fake news that we had, was a Variety. Well, you had a lot. There was a lot. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. This was another big one, though, is that Variety goes, at times the Netflix w- uh, walkout situation threatened to devolve as counter protesters pushed against trans speakers. And look at that image. Uh, they managed to find the one still that makes it look like I'm going, uh, fuck you, bro. <laughs> it I'm looks here. like you're getting yeah. pushed out and you're drunk. It, I've seen this at many football, at many uh, Dodgers games. Yeah. Guys getting pushed out by security guys like this. I did not get pushed. I did not push anyone. It's fucking killing me. Because I'm not an this idiot. Horrible. I'm not an idiot. Oh, dude, I know the rules of engagement. I've been to protests. I'm not putting my hands on anybody because I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want them to put their hands on me. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm worried about some, some of those guys in the masks who are mad dogging you, you know, staring you down as you're, you know, yelling, we like jokes. <laughs> like, dude, some of these guys, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Take a bike lock to the back of the head and wake up dead. Oh yeah. So I give them the excuse. I don't want to give, I don't want to <laughs> do anything that might be interpreted as violent. Yeah. Cause, uh, you get, you could get your ass handed to you. So, uh, Variety did delete this tweet. I think right here we have a little retraction or something. The photo attached to an early version of the above tweet did not accurately illustrate the reporting. We apologize for any confusion. That's you, a better retraction, I have to say, but yeah, it's still, yeah, yeah. uh, fuck that they ran with it in the first place. Yeah. They really, I mean, I think they went into it and they're like, we have to be on the side of the Netflix protesters. They're the good guys. Anybody well, who else would have, who comes honestly, in? Honestly, I'm going to, I'm going to say this straight up. Who would have thought two of the biggest comedy trolls on earth would show up? Yeah. And I'm not, this is not an exaggeration. Like there's, we said when we were constructing our signs, we were very careful and deliberate with, with specifically, we like Dave. We like jokes. Jokes jokes are funny. And then the other sign said, we like jokes. Dave is funny. This is like, this is the most innocuous. This is what these people will get. This will, this will um, illustrate perfectly who these people are. That something so innocuous will drive them into a violent frenzy. Anything else could have been political, uh, could have been, you know, could have been taken as aggressive, but this was 100% purely a celebration of jokes. We like, like jokes. jokes. We like <laughs> jokes. You, on the other hand, seem to not like jokes. And this is why uh, this is why it makes them so angry because the jokes are that powerful. Thirty dollars yes. and a good joke. <laughs> Stomp kneecaps. Took over the whole protest. The whole, internationally. It was our protest. Nationally. Yeah. Internationally. This is my protest yeah. now. Two comedians <laughs> threw a protest and 50 Netflix ex- employees decided to show up their ass. and counter protest them. <laughs> it was our protest uh okay true insanity dick my problem again i can't fake news i can't believe you're doing fake news look at you uh okay my problem is when you also go to the protest (laughs) and you have a better sign but your friend gets all the news attention (laughs) you did have a better and you get your head bashed into a rock (laughs) you're not on tv at all You're yeah. not going on Alex Jones. Yeah. Nobody's calling you. You're just at home trying to remember how to read texts. Right. Because you get halfway through it and then you get confused. And then you like, why was I, am I reading it? What am I doing reading a text here? <laughs> Did I hit my head? I must have hit my head. Yeah. This is a concise problem that you've brought us. My to. real problem is traumatic brain injury. Yeah. Uh, the worst part about traumatic brain injury is that you spend a week making fun of it, your dad when it happens <laughs> yes, to him right. on his bicycle and then it immediately happens to you. Yeah. That's the worst part about that's tra- some weird, uh, universe colliding type stuff. Yeah. Uh, I, so I don't have, <clears throat> I've only got that picture in the New York Times. How about that? New York Times. Hey, this protester gets his head thrown into a rock. I was at the... A bump, a blower, a jolt to the head. A penetrating injury. 
to the head. That's what's defined as traumatic brain injury. Yeah. There are three types of traumatic brain injury, mild, moderate, and severe. I looked up moderate because it would fit all my symptoms. Oh. And I was like, oh, this probably not so bad. Moderate. Yeah, moderate. It says that moderate. Good. I'm a moderate, you know. Person with a moderate uh, TBI may need ongoing care to help their recovery. A moderate or severe TBI not only impacts the life of an individual and their family, but also has a large societal and economic toll. Uh, costs an estim- estimated $76 billion in 20, in every year. For all uh, victims of yeah. traumatic brain injury. Additionally, the cost of fatal TBIs account for 90%. Here's, a, here's some stats for you. I got some stats for you. Then I'll nice. tell you the story. Five-year outcomes of persons with TBI, mm. what I have. Right, what you've experienced. Dizziness, fatigue. I try to walk the dog down the fucking street, and I, at the street, I'm like, I got to go home. Wow. Sit down. This is, this is fucked. Yeah. Uh, five-year outcomes. 22% died. Third. Wait, 22% of all traumatic brain injury? Moderate or severe. Oh my god, dick. I thought it was going to be like funny when I looked up the stats. Like, oh, this <laughs> probably be like a <laughs> couple percent. Yeah. I'll make it a big deal. And I was like, what? 30% became worse. Uh, 22% stayed the same and 26% improved. That's a that's a one quarter that got better. All the rest are the same or worse. What's forever? The, what's that one boxer who got all the sense knocked out of him for all life? of them? Yeah, all of them. I feel like I'm gonna come in and do the show and you go, hey, <laughs> Vegas, I'm Dick Masters. <laughs> Hi, Dick. How are you? Uh, what do they call it problems? A lot of problems get ranked. So Vito goes, Vito gets his sign, and this is this is the part of the protest I was probably most proud of. Well, there was two. Yeah. And we're gonna, I'm going to talk about this in detail in the show on Sunday, like in elaborate detail for the yeah. whole hour probably. The Dick Show. Yeah, the Dick Show. Come back. Um, you had taken your Netflix, had it set, or the the the, the uh, mob had it set up, so they were giving speeches on a little on a stage with Netflix in the background, and their cameras all set up facing Netflix mm. with the speech and the Netflix in the background. You know, just framing it as like, yeah, there's Netflix, here's the here's protest. us, you're the you're the empire, we're the resistance, yeah. yeah. So you took your sign, went marching around the back. Yeah, these jokes are funny, right? Because yeah. there was all these like. All these signs that were that that were uh, uh, liberal memes that it, you you know you need a yeah. you need a binocular you need binoculars to read they it even if it's so right in front of terrible. your face. Their signs are the worst. I almost brought that in. It's got a list of signs. They got a list of every trans person who's ever been killed. You're like, what am I going to do? Stand here and like go through all of them? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that one. Silence. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, come back. I'm not reading about all the trans people here. <laughs> I got to write these down. Oh, you yeah. know, I'll say. So you march your sign over. Yeah, behind the people, and that and marched it back. And that's when you got attacked. Swarm. They did not like me being back there with the sign. That guy. Does anybody know who the Netflix employee was? The Fraser guy that allegedly attacked you. Yeah, if you can, uh, Joe. If you know it in the chat, um, bring up his name. You know what? The worst part about the traumatic brain injury is I go to the doctor. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, hey, you know, uh, <clears throat> there's something wrong with me, and he goes, Oh, yeah, you're fat. And I said, No, no, it's my. <laughs> <laughs> said it's my I get that doc, one a lot. Doc, what you, no, it's my head. <laughs> what should I do? Because you should lose some weight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the worst part is I'm already an alcoholic, so it's so hard to tell. Yeah, which is the, the debilitating brain aspect. Yeah, but, but I legit forgot a, a conversation we had last night. That's never, Dude, ever happened to I, me. I'll tell that never. one. I came in and I'm like, yeah, you know, because my uh, dad used to own a Domino's Pizza or whatever. And you're like, oh, well, you know, my dad used to do this thing. And I'm like, yeah, you told me this uh, last night. Oh, uh, fuck. And you were all surprised when I was like, my dad used to do this thing. You're like, oh, wow, that's really interesting. I've never, have, never had that feeling Dude, before. Dude, we had that exact conversation last night. I'm I'm sorry, bro. Well, at least the CT at least the CT scan was another 400 bucks. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so I so you get your sign torn out of your hands by that guy, Joe Gro, Joe, Joe Cristalli. Cristalli. Who we know is Joe uh, Cristalli. Who's currently I guess the Fraser reboot has not happened yet. He's currently writing it. He's like in charge of it or something. He's like head writer oh. for the Fraser reboot. Uh, and a violent uh, felon. And a violent, fa- uh, yeah, a violent <laughs> felon. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Thanks, Netflix. Right, maybe misdemeanor assault. I don't know what it is. Assault. But it's on company time, on company property. He's on company property. Not a, not a good look to start beating people up. Especially, and this is the funniest part, he just gave an interview to the news. We're like, and what's your name? He's wearing exactly what he was wearing before. He goes, it's uh, Cristalli. Joe Cristalli. <laughs> and he starts spelling it out. Once you do that to the media, that's your cue to not beat people up. You know? Um, I just want to be clear on something. 
a the the only violence that happened at the Netflix versus Dave Chappelle protest was white males assaulting a bisexual woman. Yes, and yes. a Mexican man and a Mexican. <sighs> This is what happened while we were... A cis white man <laughs> went hog wild two. on a minority... Two minorities, yeah. let's be clear. Um, so you had your sign. Yes. Joe ripped your sign from your hand and smashed it. Um, now, I will take credit for you having the weapon because I'm the one that said we needed good poles. Yeah, At okay, the, that's fair. Because I originally I had like uh, UPS boxes. I'm like, we'll just, just gonna hold them. here. Yeah, hold no, them. No, 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 no. That's not going to look good it on TV. It wouldn't have been good. So he smashes your sign up, and as it's getting smashed, I th- I think it would be so funny, like in the in the Muppets, yeah, you know, that they're all smashing his shit and all cheer, like all of them are so aggro and amped up and screaming at each other that they've just destroyed your sign. I timed it so I walk by with my sign at that exact <laughs> moment and yeah. go. Uh, uh, yeah, I heard you ch- chanting a little bit. You're like, we like jokes. <laughs> yeah, so I get back there. And Joey, what is his? Is it Joey? Joe. Joe Buttafuoco. Yeah. Joey Buttafuoco runs back there. Joey Chrysalis. Joey Chris. Chris Cristali. Cristali. I can't remember names anymore. It's a very weird name. <laughs> yeah, you have an excuse. <laughs> I'm just an idiot. Now I don't know if I'm saying the words wrong on purpose. But um, he comes up to me, and he decides to do the exact same thing. Grab yeah. the sign out of my hand, and smash it. But I mean, I don't. I'm just like, I'm just a. I'm a big guy. I could knock you down without yeah, trying. I'm, I'm so he grabs my thing and I'm like, uh, I mean, well, buddy, uh, I have two little boy nephews and they're stronger than you. Yeah. Like they will eventually rip stuff out of my hands, but I don't think you could rip it out. You could rip this out of my hand in a million years. Right. Right. Yeah. So I have my sign and I'm like, this is like a child. This is like yeah. a little, little child ripping and. Yeah. Niles, Niles, for me, get over here! And I'm like, for me, it was the—I uh, think I was holding it at an angle, so it's a lever. You know, he's all the way at the end; oh. he's able to rip it out. That physics way. is your yeah. physics I, is your enemy. Physics is my enemy. Physics is my problem. So uh, he starts screaming. Uh, he's attacking me. I'm being. He starts screaming. I'm. I'm being strangled. I'm being all these people. Yeah. Uh, the same incitement that he did to you. Trying to say that you're being violent, and you have a weapon. Yeah, and I said, bro, I think I got through saying, uh, bro. I said, I, I, I'm, I'm being assaulted or something like that. Yeah. Next thing I know, I'm flying through the air, and there's a video of it online. You can see just the head. I think this this documentary guy that hit you up yesterday. Yeah, he got you. He has the of it. He has the whole thing. He the must. He was you right not, there. You're not touching anybody. They're saying you assaulted people. They're saying you were strangling, strangling somebody. Um, let me let me try to find the New York Times. New York Times, Dave Chappelle, just so I can put it up. On Netflix the, employees uh, walk out. Is this it? Netflix employees walk out in protest. So there's a picture of me. I, I just want to get it up so people can see. Oh, I opened it privately in tour. Great. <laughs> no, there it is. Thanks for right. opening tour on me, buddy. Everybody's favorite tour. Here is the... Here it is. Okay. Here is me. Here's the guy Antifa Smurf with the gator around his head. And I don't know why Netflix security is allowing guys in blue block or black block to be at this highly politically charged protest that they sanctioned. Did you see the security that they had was like... Two guys. Yeah, and they looked like 12-year-olds. It was like two guys they, suits. they picked up at Home Depot. They didn't have any undercover... They didn't have any cops. No. They, didn't have, they had less security at this than I have at a dick show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean... <sighs> and even when I was getting assaulted, a security guard was like standing there and he's just kind of like... All right, guys, let's uh, calm it down a little bit. Oh, like, you, you got your sign there? Maybe with mm-hmm. the, oh, he's got a weapon situation. Go, all right, all right, you know, try to take control. Well, you can't intervene because then if somebody gets hurt, then you get sued, right? I guess so. I don't uh, know so goes. here's me getting shoved. Now, you can see this guy who looks like he's grabbing boobies, right? Yeah. Antifa Smurf here looking yeah. like he's grabbing boobies. He comes out of nowhere and shoves, shoves. This is the extension of his shove. As you can see, he's shoved and pulled As back. the other guy kind of has his hands on you, so you're distracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always wait for you to be distracted and then And they come from behind. They That's why you. this, this uh, lump I have on my head is on the front. Yeah. You know, I'm going to JFK from- this shit, right? Yeah. The shove is from behind. <laughs> the shot came up and to the left. <laughs> and I up and to the left. pound my head into this concrete fucking ball that they only have there so homeless people can't sleep there. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And now it's a weapon. This enamel-covered <laughs> concrete ball. I mean, this, to me, 
is attempted murder. It's it's something. And he t- confesses to it later. He goes, I shoved his head into a rock oh, yeah, on a that's hot the mic. Worst part. We have him on a hot mic on a stream going, yeah, I, I shoved the hell out of that guy. You know? Yeah. Um, These guys aren't too smart. I love that they stream their violence. <laughs> All excited. He goes, can you change masks with me? Can you change? Can you give me a different mask? mask? Kept the same fight. You know what I love about this? All the women, all the hot women are sending me pigs. You're like, oh, I think this is him. I think they're using their like psycho chick stalking abilities (laughs) to like pull guys out. She's like, yeah, it's the same shoes. It's the same shoes. The lips are the same. Like, I'm not looking at his lips. I'll take your word for it. That's gay. (laughs) 2.8 million Americans sustain a traumatic brain injury every year. That's more than COVID. Mm. Which I know you care about. I do. Get vaccinated, people. Thank you for vaccinated at this protest. Could have been horrible. 10% of all traumatic brain injuries are due to assaults. How about that? So I'm in the lucky few there. Yeah, one out of one out of ten. That's you. Uh, yeah, that's that's my problem. Traumatic brain injuries. I don't think it's as big as fake news because you were getting you were getting done up and down, left and right. Did it change your perception of the news after this? I mean, I, I, everybody seems to think that I've never said the dude. I call the news out for lying all the time. So I mean, this was so blatant. But they've done it before. I mean, they did it to that Nicholas Sandman guy. Yeah, that I mean, and that was one where you know I came out day one. I watched the video. I'm like. He didn't Bro, shit. he was just kind of standing there. Just, yeah. You just want, I know, again, and that was a picture. You yeah. had a picture of a kid just standing there going, I'm a dumb kid. I'm smiling. I'm and nervous. You got a Native American guy in his face, and you go, Oh, the racism. Oh, the he's racism. destroying that man. And you're like, Bro, he's just standing there. <laughs> I think, thank God we look so dumb and cartoonish. That's what I always say. Thank God. A lot of people have came to me and they're like, I don't know how you had such, you know, a cheerful demeanor. Like when that guy grabbed my sign, I would have cold cocked him. I'm like, no, no, no. no. Then don't go to rallies. Yeah, then don't if go. You're, if you're at a risk of of going, hauling off and punching someone, yeah. don't go. Because you're hurting your cause. Co- if you act like that, you you're hurting, hurting your, your cause. cause. You, that, well, a person like, like people like that, I'm destroyed the Proud Boys. Yeah, being violent and Any going type nuts. of, it's whoop, 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 nope, nope. My hands are up here. Nothing. Yes. Absolutely nothing. I mean, we we said if this Joe Cristalli guy had just been like, well, he's got his sign, but he also has his free speech rights, and I'm going to leave him alone. I'm not going to you know rip up his whatever. I probably would have felt embarrassed. I mean, it would have been a whole different situation. It would have been like funny. Yeah, it's but funny. But if they would have said, you know what, we're trying we to... We would be a- having like a little discussion of, hey, we had a little thing on the news. A couple people saw it. Instead, uh, we were driving home. That video of that happening, literally 10 seconds after we left the protest, I'm like, bro, we got like 200 tweets on this thing. Bro, yeah. we got 1,000 <laughs> tweets on this thing. Bro, we got 3,000 <laughs> tweets on this thing. People that I knew from like grade school were saying, I just yes. saw you on the news. Coming out of the woodwork. Because we couldn't take our phones out because these motherfuckers are slapping shit. Like, you no, know, dude, as soon as you take your phone yeah. out, some one of these dicks is going to slap it out of your hand. You're like, oh, well, there goes 20, they'll go, there goes 1,200 no, bucks. My biggest, my biggest concern at those uh, protests, like I, atta- I was like, dick, I got to attach to the hand strap to my camera because one of these Antifa guys is going to, you know, just rip the camera out of my hands. And I know you told I'm me that. And like, bucks. Don't worry, I'm putting the strap on, but I just want you to know that I would never yeah. lose this camera. And then I demonstrated this by not losing not my losing sign. Not losing the camera. Not losing the sign. Yeah. <laughs> There's that no the fucking thing. way. I lost my sign. I should have tried <laughs> to pick up the pieces. I wish I had my weapon. I wish I had just grabbed the stick to have He's it. He's got a weapon! <laughs> he's got a weapon! And I'm just like, <laughs> I went along with it. I'm like, he's got a weapon, ladies and gentlemen. You know? <laughs> Where do you have the sign? Uh, it's in the garage. It's in the garage, dude. That's yeah. a piece of history, bro. Yeah, You're gonna get buried with that sign. Bury me with my sign. Bury me with my sign. Um. Well, that's, that's your my problem. Traumatic, traumatic brain, brain injury. injury yeah, you know, Dick. It's interesting you bring up people from grade school coming out of the woodwork. Uh, not coming out. Yeah. Because well, you're pro that. I'm pro coming, coming out, out of the but woodwork. Just kind of showing up after not being in your life. For periods of years, if not decades, because mm. it kind of leads nicely into my next problem, okay. which is the dead friend lecture. Mm. This is when someone you have not spoken to mm-hmm. in probably five, maybe 10 years mm-hmm. sees that you have done anything, <laughs> anything of interest. Oh, yeah. And that they don't like it. And because they don't you know you, about it, because they knew you at a brief moment in their lives, decides yeah. it is their a direct opportunity and moral obligation to give you a lecture about what a terrible person you are. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that what you want to hear when you're in the middle of uh, you're dealing with a concussion? I'm dealing with being assaulted by a Netflix writer. Someone comes along 
I haven't seen in years yeah. to tell me you're a bad person. I know. I just love the opinions of people that I don't know. Right. Lo- love it. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> people who, and let's be clear, we're not like, it's like, you know, people you went to school with. Yeah. People who, you know, worked at the same pizzeria. You're like, we didn't. Did you think we had like a relationship where I would care about your opinion of me? Yeah. Did you really think that? I hate you, actually. I I really do uh, hate you. So I have a private message I received on Twitter, and I will not oh. give the name of the person. Okay. Um, and I, I'll try to avoid any descriptive details, but let's just say this was a former coworker. Okay. Someone I worked with. And to be clear, worked with in the way that I did remote In the biblical work. sense. Well, I worked remotely from California. The company I worked for is in a different part of the country. Uh This was a person who we emailed about the projects we were working (laughs) on. (laughs) And I saw them maybe once or twice a year at like work conventions. What is wrong with people? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is wrong? We We should bring in shitty dads. And that's the biggest problem of all fucking time. (laughs) It's worse than proton decay. Shitty dads. This is a person that I'm like. We did not. You gave me a ride home from a convention once. Did you think we formed a lifetime bond where you're now like, oh, my God, thank you for coming to me because I've always trusted your opinion on me and my life and the things that I do. What if there was no instant messenger? Would you have written this out? No. Like, oh, yeah. No. Here, you, know, you know what? Yeah, there you go. Would have wrote me. Hey, a you know what else I think about you? That's the problem with social media: is people think you know your your old like high school uh, you know gym teacher wants to come by and give you you know all sorts of information yeah. about his life, and I'm like, I don't care what you're up to, man. I, I don't need to hear about this. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you what I got from this beloved friend of mine. You were so close. Hey, Vito, you're actively making the world worse. Do better. <laughs> Be better. <laughs> Let me stop being fake and coy and just lean into the hatred. Oh, uh huh. Making some notes. Yeah. If I was there, I would have said, You are a lying bastard. You fake fuck. So I'm saying it here. I know you don't give a shit, and I know you are going for another Pepsi Berkeley, 4 million views or whatever, but you are fomenting a world that is worse for people like me. Okay, I must preface this is when I knew this person, they were a man. I have transitioned to be a woman, so clearly. The, uh, <laughs> This was definitely (laughs) written by a woman, to be clear. You seem to be okay with that. So in brief, fuck Utah. Oh, I ask one simple question. Uh, You say the world has made things worse. How is the world made worse for you by Dave Chappelle? That was my. Oh, that was your question. That was my question. They sent me a uh, a video, a YouTube video, the complex transphobia of Dave Chappelle. Yeah, I'm gonna make time (laughs) for that. I'm gonna make time for literally and literally (laughs) captioned it. You want to know what they captioned it? What homework assignment? No, 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 no. You don't give me homework. No, no, no. I have no time for this. Sucking my cock? Then no. This is this is insane. Uh, I'll go on. My comment to you wasn't about Chappelle. My comment was about you. You actively chose to make fun of the Netflix employees who were taking a stand against the special, who are risking their livelihoods to say this is not okay. Were they risking their no. livelihoods? The Netflix told them to do it. They can't get fired. For, I mean, they got they fired. They said, go protest. You'll have ones, a good time. I think the only one who got fired was the one who leaked confidential internal documents about yeah. the numbers of the special. I think they actually brought them back. Yeah, probably. I think they went, all right, you get one. The one you that tried one. to crash the meeting. Yeah, crashed the meeting. They brought mm-hmm. her back. Uh, you're saying we're funny to you or some joke. You didn't need to do that. You chose to not only to say the Netflix employees were wrong or whatever, but to go and make a spectacle to make the moment about you and not against the continual march against trans folk. You aren't the main character. You think you are. I'm done here. My response. I am absolutely the main character. <laughs> always have been. Always will be. Uh. Good for you. Uh, and they blocked me. So that's the end of that. Did you get it in before they blocked you? I did get it in before they blocked me because they commented on their Twitter <laughs> where, with their <laughs> little... They went, well, you know, people who think they're the main character are the worst. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, just let it go at that point. We're done. We're done. Okay? I've ch- and, and to be fair, I was very polite with this person. You know, mm-hmm. occasionally they'd, you know, check in. And I'd be like, yeah, you know, how, how are you doing with your transness or whatever? You, you keep know, that booty journey. warm. Is this yeah. what you're doing? I don't keep know. that booty on the line. That's yeah, what you yeah, do. Yeah, you send him a line. Line every once in a while, Let's just keep say that this booty on the line. Bop, bop, bop. As the other one. Well, you never know. You never know. They could they turn could it around. Turn super hot. They could turn around. Could get a friend. This person is about ten years uh, my senior as well, so Oof. not as fertile as uh, some of the ladies I've been dating. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> This is not the uh, first time that I've gotten one of these lectures. It seems yeah. like whenever I put out a YouTube video, someone has to come along and 
how could you say this about Star Wars? It's such a diverse, magical film, and you're yeah. a hating white man, blah, blah, blah. I think I think you really, before you message somebody to, to really lecture them, go, what is my position here? Yeah. Am I the right person to do? Just don't. Just, just don't. don't do it. Just don't. Just don't. You don't have a special connection. It's always, and you see this also, like something happens to somebody, and you see somebody else go on Twitter, and they go, I knew him back in grade school, and he pushed me down. And you're yeah. like, bitch, what the, how Shut is that relevant to what's up. going on? Yeah. Who's the one seeking attention here? Yeah. That happened to me after, like, when uh, when that's, when that's I was at that Trump rally talking about affirmative right. nods. There was some, uh, some Mexican Which was such writer. a great joke, and anyone who doesn't respect that joke... <laughs> Where you go, where Trump's up there, and what would you think of the Trump rally? And you're like, he kind of looked at me, you know? He didn't say anything to me. Give me an affirmative nod. nod you well, know? Let me know everything was going to be all right. That was that was incredible. <laughs> Thank that was you. Beautiful. Uh, this this uh, guy, I, I say Mexican because I, I know him because he wrote it, this like Mexican sketch yeah. that we did for a Mexican show for Hispanic Heritage Month. This is before they banned leaf blowers. I don't know if they still do that anymore. Right. Uh, he wrote me this really horrible... Like, I was an actor in his show, no. which is f first free at the theater. You volunteer, and you go waste all your time, like, practicing their fucking lines and let them be a director and right. just try to make their script good and yeah, the audience. It's like it's a favor. It's a total favor. And he sent me this shitty message about what, a, like, a turncoat I was. I'm like, what is the fuck is wrong with you? What? Yeah. And I know your dad, and he seemed cool, so what the fuck happened to you? Um, it's really weird. It's really gross. All this contacting people, people are doing. Yeah, I think these people like live in this weird... I don't know. Mm. Where they're like, I need to take a stand. And you're like, bro, there's so many other ways to take a stand than finding some kid you went to high school with and telling them they're a piece of shit. Well, this is about you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, wow. I really yeah. said... And again, I want to be clear. This was not an anti-trans thing that we did. As oh, that wasn't. Then that rally had nothing to do with trans. No, it only had. To, it was. It was a bunch of goddamn lunatics. the The greater trans, com the greater community of anything is not a bunch of fucking morons. It's always a sliver group. It's always a little sliver. Who the fuck? Who the fuck has time on a Wednesday afternoon <laughs> to go <laughs> screech about? Uh, uh, about politics. Right. No, people with no jobs, right there, their opinion goes right out the window. People, you don't have a job. Oh, I'm going because I don't have a job. Get the fuck out of here. Don't care. Uh, why are you going? Well, I'm taking off work to go scream in the middle of fucking no where people are throwing signs around. Well, your fucking opinion doesn't matter either then. Get the fuck out of here. These are people who no one, who you would never listen to no. under any context. Oh shit, what am I doing? What am I doing with my retirement? I better go ask those lunatics shouting, <laughs> shouting nonsensical and in cohesive statements in the in front of Na Netflix yeah. HQ, who openly sponsors what they're doing. I should go ask them what to do. And let's be clear, I mean, I know anecdotes are worth nothing, but I've gotten dozens of messages from trans people who go, listen, man. We're in your. <laughs> There's a lot of us who are in their corner. These people do not represent us. Nobody's got time for that uh, shit. Yeah. Nobody no. fucking cares about what's uh, Dave Chappelle's. Nobody cares about a fucking comedy show. As I've said to people, I'm like, listen, man, if you're worried about how the trans community is perceived, I mean, go after lawmakers who are making the world harder for you. Go after, you know, guys who are really you know, yeah. hate speech. But what is Chappelle? You're going to go after it. It makes you look bad. Why would you fight? Against? He's universally beloved. He is an American treasure. The man is like a modern day Mark Twain. OK, he is. He is. He is a Mark Twain. He's a Mark Twain. Wow. Imagine coming out against. I think Mark maybe Twain. O Oscar Wilde. Oscar Somebody Wilde. Pith with pithy one-liners. Uh, not. I would go for George not Carlin, but I think narrator. Carlin gets too much. Uh, we already laud Carlin so much. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Point is, uh, if Chappelle's at the top of your hit list, or with J.K. Rowling, I'm like, do you think you're bigger than Harry Potter trans community? Pick a better battle. Go after a different book. Go after a book that we're like, yeah, that one sucks. Aragon or whatever. Uh, don't go. Don't go after Harry. What am I going to do? Stop drinking butter beer at Warner Brothers Studios at Universal Studios? I'm not going to do it. Oh, we it. can't go after J.K. Rowling. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we hate Tom Brady. Then. <laughs> oh, <come laughs> on, you guys, we're trying to help you out. Yeah, pick pick someone we all hate. Say we hate Epstein. We'll be like, yeah, all right, cool. We, we agree with the trans community on that or whatever. I don't know. Pick we should have just. Else. We should have brought uh, a boombox and just played Andrew Dice Clay. Mm. Of Hickory Dickory. <laughs> <laughs> the mouse ran up my cock. <laughs> you know what? You know what my biggest disappointment. Uh, you know, I'll talk about that on Saturday. Talk here's my last. Saturday. Here's my last Give problem. Give us our last problem, Dick. Um, OCD toasters. Mm. 
This is people who, when you're when you're giving a cheers at a restaurant, yes, they're the ones that have to hit every single glass <laughs> all around like, the table. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, watching them pour the drink, and I'm like a dog, like sticking my tongue in there as they're pouring. Like, oh, I haven't had a, I haven't had a drink in like three hours. <laughs> Looking yeah. it out while they're pointing, and they're like, "Oh yeah, cheers! Ha ha, go, let's go!" Uh, but they're like, "Oh no, no, I didn't get a, clink, I didn't, clink, get, a, clink, clink, I didn't get a cheers out of that guy. Right. Get the governor a cheers!" It's like clink, <laughs> clink, clink. They're like, at the very oh. other end of the table. Yeah. Oh, yeah. come over here! I didn't get a cheers from this guy. Come on! I didn't get a cheers from you. Come on! Everybody move! Like, why do you? Why are you so entertained? By the glasses, do you think this is verboten or something? That you're breaking some kind of law by clinking? Is it the sound of the glasses, like jingling a key? Mm. Get keys for a child <laughs> that you need to... <laughs> <laughs> like, why, why does this make you so happy that you have to delay every... Surely you can see that it's impossible for all the... the yeah. To all the glasses to hit. This is like a sa traveling salesman problem. You know, computer yeah. science... Computer Computers cannot figure out if this will ever end. This, but what is the most efficient way to clank the glasses together? And then you force people who are OCD, uh, OCD toasters on the line. You tip them over because they're like, "Oh, this fuck fucking barber's doing OCD. Oh, I got to hit every glass too. I got to collect every glass. I got to. Did I already do you? Did I already do you? <laughs> Did I already get you? I'll get you this again. Just in yeah. case, I'm doing your fucking glass on the table. <sighs> It's one of those everybody's got to be included type problems. It's uh, just like you know, this. I, yeah. This is why in Jesus's time, they sat everybody on the same side of the table. Right. So they couldn't <laughs> do that. Like, cheers. Now I had to go. Che well, uh, maybe you, maybe you. That's it. You're like, can I, can I sit across from Jesus? No, you got to lean over and make a dramatic yeah. pose with I your didn't get, I didn't get Jesus' glass. Sit the fuck down. Yeah. You don't get to go around walking. Maybe I'll just sit on the other side. Then I can hit all your glasses. Get out of here, Jude. You're the worst one. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. Uh, no. Uh, I love them. OCD toasters. Have you ever been in a situation with an OCD toaster before? Yeah, yeah. I think recently there was something recently. like that. Where was I drinking? Oh, in Vegas. I went oh, to Vegas while you were recently. skipping the first episode of the show. Oh, shut up. First episode, first uh, weekly episode of the show. Yeah. Yeah. We went to a great bar and, you know, we all had our drinks. And it's like, all right, I guess I got to get you over here and you over here. Does this really matter? Is this really useful? If your glass touches mine, I'm going to spit in it. That's my <laughs> new, That's the new rule. I'm going like this. Yeah. Cheers. And I'm tipping my glass, in fact, all the way back. Yeah. So that if you try to, you're going to spill your, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this yeah. little game called whack or I fuck up your glass. <laughs> Bam. Yeah. You should tell them, well, there's a new version of cheers where we all spit in each other's glass. I'm going to hold my, I guess we don't need to cheers this time. I'm going to hold my glass like this. Yeah. With all my, fit, like a, like a spider, an octopus with all my fingers hanging out over the top, like an eagle claw. So when you cheers me, I'm just going to stick fingers in your glass. And they've all been up my ass or someone's ass. Mm. Let them know. Let them know. We got to put an end to. I mean, toasting in general is a weird custom. Can we replace it with something that doesn't involve touch? Can we have an affirmative nod to everyone? It's in not the group? supposed to have touch. Yeah. But wi women, people who are OCD toasters, they like hearing the clink so much. I wonder if I don't it's know like why. A, it's so funny to them. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get you. <laughs> like, do they think th th they're like Barbie dolls, mac smashing them together to make them have sex? Like, is that what they think's happening? The glasses are having sex. Yeah. Do they think the glasses are like meeting each other and having a good time? Like, yeah. oh, the glasses are like Toy Story. Oh, ah! transfer. Yeah, they come to they come to life at night and go. He didn't clink me. He didn't clink me. He doesn't love me, and he doesn't probably love me fucking anymore. Do yeah. they probably do think that? Yeah, good. Fuck them. Who cares? Fuck them. Oh, I'm just gonna break my. I'm gonna break their glass. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> They should make they should make glasses that have spikes on the outside. So if you want to avoid, you know, you can just shatter their glass and go. Oh, I guess you're not going to toast any in it for the rest of the night. I almost got in a fight with some Australians at Oktoberfest in Munich because every time I every time we'd prost, they would lean over the table and try to smash their fucking glass into my beer. Jesus. It's like, God damn, you guys, you're just following me. I feel like it's the same four Australians <laughs> Every following time they me pour around. You a beer, a four guys descend on you and smash into yeah, it. Yeah, like my whole life. Like, oi! <laughs> Over there, you're drinking a little Beasley Weasley, huh? Yeah. I bought this for you. This is how we cheers down. Get the fuck away from me. I'm not cheersing you. I'm going to drink it on the table like a dog. Get away from me. Yeah. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs>
That's, that's my problem. That's the problem. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone, man. Just let me hold my sign back here. What do we call this problem, Dick? OCD toasters. OCD toasters. That gives us four problems, I think, for the week. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what were your problems? Fake news. Oh, yeah. Wow. Fake news. And the dead friend lecture. Dead friend. I mean, I don't I even know like if you call him dead friend. Dead acquaintance. Dead friend. Yeah, well, not dead. Yeah. I don't know. How about long lost lecture? Yeah, long lost That's lecture. Good. Beautiful, beautiful. Long L L L. The triple L. I got so I, you got to come back on Sunday. I got so many things I'll I come talk in. to you. I'll about come in tonight. on Sunday. The Dick Show. Uh, traumatic, traumatic brain injury. Yes. I fucking hope that this that this is a little bit better. Uh, yeah, keep doing those Sudokus. We'll see what uh, other stories you've forgotten. <laughs> fucking stats. <laughs> <laughs> it's this, right? It's this, right? Dick, numbers go in the boxes. Numbers? Yeah. What are those? You've just drawn angry circles. And OCD <laughs> toasters. Stop filling it out with your poop, Dick. <laughs> I just write, I've just written in all the boxes. I've written lawsuit and damages. Yeah, lawsuit and like well, P-O-E, P O E, O P E. You might have a case. So uh, we'll see. Okay, everybody. This has been the biggest problem of the universe. Go to vote, go to biggestproblem.show to vote on the problems and go to patreon.com slash biggest problem to support the show and to get our bonus episodes. Bonus episodes and you'll get access to our uh, Discord server. You can talk to us about our experiences. I'm in there now. I'm in there on the are. Discord. Yeah, I'm sitting chatting to people. So yeah, patreon.com slash biggest problem. And thanks to everybody who made this a weekly show. You got us over yeah. the line and we're very excited. We love it. Uh, uh, can we read su- should we read Super Chats now? No, we should do voicemails. We're going to do voicemails first. And then we'll do Super Chats. Okay. And we have some other topics we might get yeah. into. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is called Jacking Off at Work. Let's see what that one's about. <laughs> hey, Dick. Uh, this is for, the, for the, the bonus episode for Biggest Problem. <laughs> Why on earth is Vito jacking off at work? <laughs> It's a long work day, it's, man. Why, yeah. why, what kind of mental incapacitation would compel a human being to do that at an office? So he's looking at porn on a computer, and then he just has to suddenly get up and run to the bathroom. That uh, probably suddenly, scared yeah, you know, you can take your time. Employees with <laughs> I don't run to beat off at home. (laughs) (laughs) Oh shit! I gotta get it. It's not diarrhea. Jack off at work. (sighs) That's insane. He didn't leave the workforce. He was definitely fired for being the office creepo. There's no way. I left. I left of my own volition. A man that decides to jack off. Yeah. (laughs) At his office. What a weirdo, Vito. That's disgusting. What's wrong with you? It's eight hours in front of a computer. You want to relax a little bit. Love it. Thank you. Also, the uh, the downstairs bathroom had a had a shower, so I got to shower at work too. That was great. Did you beat off in there? Uh, no, I'd, I'd save it for the deposit in the proper receptacle. I thought that was the proper receptacle. Yeah, maybe I did it in the shower. I don't know. <laughs> it's been like ten years. They probably have some kind of semen detector in the drain, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a semen alarm, semen C. A semen seer yeah. that, like, if you <laughs> piss in the pool at a public pool, it turns all green. Yeah, I was always worried. I'm like, if anybody, if they have the ability to check my internet history, I'm fired. Oh yeah, uh, you which would have been good anyway. Oops, Dick. I have to say that Vito is a fucking idiot. Oh <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the whole C- the whole Sieg Heil thing for the Nazis totally comes from from the Romans and from. Caesar. Yeah, yeah well, I know that. They're white supremacists. Everywhere, and all of their iconography is built around uh, the Romans and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's why they called it the fucking Third Reich, because it's the Third right. Empire after the Romans. Did Everything you know about that? the Nazis is about being Roman. So Vito is a fucking idiot. <laughs> Like man, I'm not gonna say I'm a history buff. Did I say it was different? Or I, have, did I, just say, I have no idea. I'm saying I think it, I'm thinking. You know, I'm like it had a different context at the time because you were saying you know those uh, those Romans were awful because they were doing Nazi salutes, and I'm like back yeah. there it had a diff- back in that time it had a different connotation. No, it was about Hitler. Back in the time of the Romans, yeah, he's a prophecy of Hitler. Was the prophecy of Hitler. <laughs> yeah, I think this guy misunderstood. Hilarious. What I was he was saying. one of their gods. 
he was going to come down. Yeah, they knew he was coming. They were all secret Nazis, the Romans. Not secret. They were right out in the open. G- yeah, you were literally <laughs> saying the Romans were basically the Nazi yes, party. And August, I was disagreeing with that. August is a Nazi, Nazi month. month. Yeah. Should be called something I don't different. accept that I'm an idiot. So is July. I don't remember that conversation the same way. We should have a metric month system. I get started. Go back to just 10. Get those Nazi months out of there. Uh, so let's do one more. Can we do the shoot? This is for biggest problem. Oh. I'm sorry to keep bringing it up, but it's not really because it's funny. Vito keeps missing the point of an apology. Uh oh. An apology instantly absolves you of all guilt. Instantly. Immediately. <laughs> Nothing else does that. It's pretty cool. And the cool thing is, you don't have to mean it. Oh. Go fuck yourself. Oh. Should we talk about apologies real quick? If you want to. We can talk about it on Sunday. Yeah, well, I do want to. I do want to make my apology public at some point. So maybe on okay. Sunday it would be better. Uh, let's try to read these super chats. Yeah, scroll up to the top. Let's see if we can do them chronolo- uh, chronologically. Chronologically. Okay, go ahead. From Kevin McAllister, I like jokes. Thank you, Kevin. From uh, a Revere Soda with ten. What is that? Euros. Jokes aren't funny, especially not Vito's. Oh. Thank you. Oh, man. Rusty Spoon with four ninety nine puts a picture of a stack of dollar bills. Well, I nice. appreciate that. Money, money, money. I appreciate that. Uh, from J S Lang four ninety nine says jokes are funny. I agree. Hashtag. Don't we have a T shirt right now coming? Yeah, I like jokes. I like jokes. The T shirt. Where do we get that? Uh, you can buy it at shop.dick.show Just because I already have this a store up. Yeah, but it's going to both of us. And I might be putting up a rep. Mother effer shirt on my own stupid where I make like a dollar a shirt because that. Good luck selling out. a shirt with motherfucker. I was gonna, I was gonna put <laughs> asterisks. You know, I was gonna replace asterisks because I know nobody wants to. You know, I have a Mister Girl T-shirt. That's him holding a gun, and below it says "Take off your panties." And I told him like. Bro, I can't wear that shirt in public. He's like, yeah, I got to change that one. Uh, I got to change it to take off your panties, little girl. Little girl, yeah. <laughs> They're still coming after me for being friends with Mr. Girl, but oh, I love God, that guy. Oh, God, fuck off. It's so the the cutie shit at this point. Like, well, actually, we're like, oh, go fuck Dude, yourselves. Yeah, right now they're coming at me. They're Shut like, the fuck well, up. Well, actually, all you guys who like, cute, or who like Vito, did you know that he defended the cuties as free speech? Yeah, I'm well, like, you don't do anything. You yeah. didn't defend anything or do anything anything so suck my cock they're very jealous it looks like jay sling with another 49 bisexuals are funny dario cambron five dollars weird to think that dick is more expendable than his dog in terms of hospital bills your dog costs four thousand you only cost four hundred. no problem with you're one tenth the worth of your dog <laughs> And uh, we have from Cloudstar five dollars. Antifa Smurf smurfed the Smurf out of you. <laughs> That's very true. That is very true. That little fucker. He really sucked, and he stuck around. I think I have footage of him like mad dogging you after trying to like. Yeah, he changed beat the clothes. Crap out of you. He put a black gator black on. Baklava, they black call him. Black, 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 black. Uh, we got any more here? Taking a look. Oh, there we go. From Rich F. $5. Took a three-foot iron lever to the head at work four years ago. I still feel like a decent chunk of my cognitive abilities are missing. Yeah. Uh, The brain is a delicate organ, man. I mean... Hopefully you bounce back. Uh, Let's see. Wet Bandit, $5. The worst macho weathermen are the fat guys that don't really realize the reason they don't get cold is because they're used to the cold. I know why. I get it. Uh, we got Lake Embra. Dick, draw a clock right now. Can okay. you do it? Let's see. Let's see. Is that right? Did I draw it? Yeah, you got it. Thanks. You got there. Is that a clock? That's a clock. Oh, a, oh, a clock. Yeah. Oh, I see. You got it. That was a cock. Matt Barr, five dollars. Despite being misinformed about the Underground Railroad, fuck you. Vito has proven to be the best co-host in the universe. I'll take it. I'll take it. Nate Ring, $5. Vito, please unblock me. I have announced that because of my newfound fame, anyone who's currently blocked by me on Twitter, uh-huh. find a way to contact me. And in my, you know, infinite, uh, you know, uh, forgiveness, I will unblock you. Right. I blocked a lot of you because you liked a tweet from a certain idiot lawyer calling me a pedophile. And I was like, yeah, I don't need you following me. If, uh... Uh, that's where you're at. We have, what is that? Our friend, $5. This is for Dick's hospital bill. Thanks. Hopefully he'll remember. I gave it to him. Great job, Vito, on your redemption arc. It's not over. I'm going to fuck it up somehow. Coach Cake, $5. When's Road Rage Phoenix happening? Dick? I don't know. I got to do a Road Rage now. I need my brain back. Yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, he says you just skipped three. Did I skip three? I think we got them all now. No. Was there any uh, other... I don't think so. I think we got him. If I missed any super chats, please tell me. 
Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, sorry. Yoshi guy 35 $5. I saw the video on V's channel. It said, holy crap, it's friggin' Vito and Dick Masterson. Yeah, a lot of people were surprised to see. They were very excited to see us. Uh, Elbow, $25, $5. Netflix has to stream all your shows as part of the settlement. Vito is slowly being radicalized. That's true. Matt C, Ozzy, $5. How many more hits to the head until you stream as a banana three nights a week? <laughs> a lot. I'll have to be like weekend. <laughs> if I'm stream- It's like weekend at Bernie's if I'm in a banana suit streaming at all. And I think that may be all of them unless one just came in. Uh, scroll us down. No, no we're good. It. All right. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the show. We 